Hi everyone, uh, today we'll be unboxing your new oatmeal dust shoe uh, as well as going over how to assemble it and uh, its use. So first we'll unbox it here. It should be packed fairly tightly. I just need to pull it all out here. So get that out of the way. This should have all of the parts you need in order to get started. First we have the hose body. This will attach to your standard 4 inch dust collection hose. Uh, if you need to adapt this you can go to your local hardware store and get an adapter um, should you need it. You'll find the hardware for that. Two hose clamps as well as four uh, M4 screws in order to assemble it. Um, we gave you two extra in case you lose them. Next we have the spindle body mount. This will give you the ability to mount your dust shoe to your spindle, your standard 80 millimeter uh, spindle on the alt mill. It gives you a sight window to, so you can see your setups. Um, you can be able to do uh, tool changes as well as zeroing. We'll give you two bristle lengths, one inch as well as a two and a half inch. Um, these will let you basically have replacements for your uh, dust shoe should you wear through your um, bristles there and also uh, give you a longer adaptable one for if you have really long tool length or if you have a uh, large pocket depth. We don't recommend this for your standard cutting because the bristles can get caught and then this one is your widest range of sort of cutting depths and tool lengths uh, that we recommend that you'll cut with. So this one primarily will be what you're using. So inside your dust collection hose body um, you'll find sort of a, a wavy pattern which matches up with your bristle. These just slot in basically and then click together. And then at the back you'll have your holes for your M4 screws. Uh, you just screw those into there and that will stabilize this. Hose clamp. Uh, if you're right-handed then you'll put this on the right-hand side. If you're left-handed then you'll put it this way. Um, you probably don't want to put it this way. I'll just tighten this all the way up and then we'll be tightening it till it's just slightly bigger than the inner diameter here so that it slides over your spindle. All right, now that we've put the uh, hose clamp on and it's been tightened to just somewhat uh, larger than the inner diameter here, I like to sometimes tuck this little end in there and you can get access nicely to the handle. Um, we'll put this aside. If you want to replace this, you just take those two out and then you can pop this out, swap in a new one, which you'll be able to find on our store if you need uh, replacements of these um, or if you want a, another longer adapter, for instance. So now we'll be taking your um, spindle body section and pairing it with your uh, hose clamp side. This is quite simple. Just sort of hook it into the back of the hose clamp side body and then click it down over this uh, groove there. This kind of wears in in the beginning, but it should, um, should be a lot easier over time. Uh, and then to remove it, you just pull down on this uh, tab over here and you just sort of click it over and then you unhook, give you uh, ability to do your tool changes here, as well as any setups or anything you need, uh, touching your zeroing. So this fits your standard four inch dust collection hose. If you need a different size hose, you can always go to your local hardware store and get uh, whatever adapter they need. However, we don't really recommend using this with your standard shop vac, like a two inch or, or smaller than that, primarily because the amount of dust that the alt mill can output is really significant and basically it would clog your system pretty quickly. So we do recommend that you use a dust collector for this um, just because of the sheer amount of output of dust. So we'll be putting this uh, hose clamp over the end. It doesn't need to be super tight, just enough that it doesn't come off basically. That's pretty good. All right, now we'll move over to the alt mill uh, to show how you use the dust shoe. So over here at the alt mill, uh, we'll be taking your spindle body and uh, mounting it to your alt mill. So this just slides over the spindle like so. Um, using the hose clamp, uh, you just slide it up and then you tighten up your hose clamp like that. This allows you to also have height changing ability as well as if you want to angle it for better sight or just positioning. It doesn't need to be too tight, just enough so that it doesn't really move anywhere. Okay, then next we'll take your uh, dust collection hose side. Um, depending on your dust collection system, the hose might be a bit stiff. This should become easier, you know, as you get the hang of it. But um, basically, you slide it over there, over your bit, and then you just click it over. Uh, and now you have 
assembled your dust chute. If you need to adjust everything, you can just sort of slide this up and down as you need to, tighten it, loosen it, change the angle of it. We'll tighten it there. And then to uh, release it, we just take the um, sort of post at the back, click down, it should click over, and then this just comes off. And then you can do any of your tool changing that you need to do here, um, you know, fitting in there, undoing your tool, also giving you ability to do your touch off for zeroing or any kinds of different setups. I hope this video was informative to all of you. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to reach out to our support page or uh, Facebook forums. It was a pleasure working with you all and uh, see you next time.